I think I may have just found the perfect beauty light modifier and I want to use it and show you how I created these images. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So I guess you guys have an idea of what modifier I'm talking about. It's right here. But let me get back to this. But let's talk about this one first. So I'm creating a beauty light now. I want to take a beauty portrait as what I showed you earlier. And my background is just basically this one. It's a large modifier with a continuous light behind it. And I will base my exposure from here. Now, what is so special about this light? This is the new, brand new Photix capsules. Now, I've already done a pseudo unboxing of these modifiers. I'll put a link in the description below. But you can see here, this is a 65cm Octabank. This is a small softbox, a 30 by 55. So nothing really special about it. However, there is one feature that just makes this so amazing and I'm trying to look for it. Wait, I can see it here. And it is this. These things come with umbrellas shoot through umbrellas here this is the one for here and this one for this one above and here's the reason why i am so in love with this light this type of light will give you beautiful beauty light already as is however if you put something like this on top of it like here which we can this one becomes a lantern giving an even better fall off of light. And I will show you now exactly what I mean the moment I put this thing together. And if you guys are wondering, it's attached to a C-Sand from Manfrotto. This is Avenger series. And this one is mounted using a, a friction arm and a super clamp. And the lights that I'm using are both Nanlite Forza 60 watts. And basically that's it. Let me now show you how beautiful this light is. But before I show you how beautiful the light coming from this modifier is, let's talk about the camera that I will be using. So the camera that I'm using is my Sony a7 Mark IV with an 85mm 1.4 GM lens, my favorite portrait lens. And as with all my videos, everything that you are seeing is straight out of the camera through the help of this one. This is Atomos Ninja V. I am actually recording a live feed from my camera and that's exactly what you are seeing now. So for me to properly demo the beautiful light coming from this modifier, it's time for me to call in my wife, Coco, who will be my subject for today. Babe, come on in. Hi, babe. Of course, you look fantastic. And again, we'd like to thank Mela Jimenez, right, for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup for today. So both these lights are set on full power. And that light behind is another Forza 300, which is also set on full power. So my settings are ISO 100, f1.4. Now let me adjust my shutter speed. Babe, do you mind moving slightly going here? That's it. Let me adjust my shutter speed so that I can get everything correct. Look how beautiful and soft that light is. 1 over 100 or 1 over 80, f1.4, ISO 100, proper balance. So let me turn off the light in the back so you could see how these two lights, are how these two lights look like. So that's how the light looks like without the backlight, which is also beautiful actually. We don't even need that light there in the back. Let's shoot a few with gray backdrop. Okay, babe, how about shift your body this way? Oh, the other way, any way you want to. Very nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Look how beautiful the light is coming from this modifier. Now I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering how it looks like without the modifier. So let's take it out. Sorry, without the lantern, let's see how it looks like. Of course, all of a sudden it became stronger. Let's take one, take this one out like also. And there we go. Let's see how this one looks like. So I have to dial down my exposure. And look, it's so different already. 
of course, the light is harsher because it doesn't have the diffuser in front. So now we're going to put the diffuser. There we go. And I'll bring this one down so we can put the diffuser. All right, let's take a few more shots using this one. You can just move those modifiers out. Perfect. Move slightly going here. To here. Too much, go back, come forward. Very, that's it. Beautiful. Look. Look at the difference of this beauty light compared to when it was as a lantern. Coco's beautiful, yes. However, this thing just made everything look even better. So I honestly don't like it. I'll bring back the lantern so we can shoot a few more. Okay, we have the lantern back and immediately look at how soft that image is. All right, let's do a few more shots, babe. Beautiful. But you know what? I like it with a white background. So let me turn this one on again. Beautiful. That's it. Chin up some more. Good. How about crossing your arms this way? Yes. Beautiful. Love it. And look at how soft that light is. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And that's the reason, thank you very much again, babe. And that's the reason why I am so in love with these two modifiers, this set actually, this small soft box, this small octabank with a lantern attachment to it, just gives beautiful soft light. It's so small, it's perfect for a small home studio for beauty lighting such as this one. And of course, this one can easily be replaced, which is a white backdrop and putting another light there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions with regards to the light modifiers or the light that I used, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video. Profile, profile, yeah. Then look towards me. There, yeah, I'm gonna tilt your head this way. Good, love it. Beautiful. How about your left shoulder towards me? My right. Oh, your right, yeah. Or maybe this right, this there, that shoulder, but profiling this way. Profiling this way. No, no, I mean this shoulder towards me, tilt your head this way, chin going here.